Helicopters typically require multiple hours of maintenance and associated downtime for each hour of flight. Reduced maintenance costs and higher aircraft availability are two of the core value propositions of electric air taxis. For Joby to deliver a cost-effective air taxi service that our customers can rely on, our aircraft is designed with these characteristics in mind. We've made design decisions across the aircraft to optimize for reliability and maintainability. For example, choosing direct drive motors that are considerably simpler to maintain than motors with a gearbox and hundreds of moving parts. Our propulsion motors are also easy to swap and replace, meaning the type of maintenance issue that would take a helicopter out of service for two weeks could be instead completed overnight on a Joby aircraft. Looking ahead to commercial service, we are uniquely positioned to build out an efficient maintenance, repair, and overhaul, or MRO, operation because of our vertically integrated structure. In flying more than 33,000 miles with full-scale prototypes, our team has learned a tremendous amount of how to keep our aircraft in flight-ready condition most efficiently. Those learnings feed directly into the instructions for continued airworthiness submitted as part of the aircraft's type certificate, as well as the way we are structuring our maintenance operation. To be able to carry out all needed MRO activities and do them at dedicated bases in our target markets, we applied for and received our Part 145 Maintenance Repair Station Certificate. This was a multi-year process that involved drafting and submitting hundreds of pages of manuals, just like the Part 135. We're already using our Part 145 to perform certain inspections on our existing fixed wing aircraft and our Joby aircraft prototypes. Again, exercising mission critical activities in advance of operations. And just like with the Part 135, we'll be able to add the capabilities to work on our entire Joby aircraft once it's type certified. There are many reasons why we're building out MRO capabilities in-house. First, if we don't build it, it won't exist. We're the only team in the world right now that knows how to maintain our Joby aircraft. Without an MRO, we can't launch operations. Second, quality and safety. We've developed and implemented FAA compliant quality and safety programs as the foundation of our 145 repair station that meets our high company standards. And by conducting the maintenance ourselves, we can ensure they are properly maintained to our standards. Third, efficiency. Under Part 135, an air carrier can perform certain maintenance activities, but not necessarily in the most efficient and cost-effective manner. And most repairs and all overhauls cannot be conducted under Part 135. These must be done under Part 145, which is a separate entity from the air operator. With our Part 145 in hand, we can set up MRO bases in market, not only in the US, but also globally. And we're already in the site planning process to support our Dubai operations. We can also establish component repair sites in market that perform repairs and some overhauls to aircraft equipment separately from our manufacturing facilities. Importantly, this capability, along with the overhauls and parts from our manufacturing division, allows us to offer valuable support services to any operator of our aircraft. Having integrated systems between the OEM operations and maintenance organizations also brings added benefits. We're already developing tools that continuously monitor the health of aircraft systems based on operational flight data. These tools can reduce unscheduled maintenance events through predictive maintenance programs, something that's only possible with integrated systems that allow data to flow from the operations to maintenance in real time. Finally, workforce development. With our Part 145, we're able to build a pipeline of talent by training and certifying maintenance repairmen who become experts in specific maintenance procedures. They then rotate through our Part 145 operation using holistic experience and eventually becoming licensed a and line mechanics who will work on the, our aircraft in the field. There are currently no training programs for mechanics on eVTOL aircraft or electric propulsion in general. So we're developing these programs in-house for our mechanics. And I'm proud to say that we received a $1 million grant from the FAA to support this program.